welcome to the Fat 30s Shirt Rider Vlog. Uh, my name is Tom Collishaw. Um, this is my vlog that is going to prove to all of those uh, men who are in their 30s and 40s and have um, have lots of time constraints in their life that it is possible to hold down a diet, um, a healthy diet. It is possible to hold down a simple exercise plan that allows you to lose weight and just be be more healthy and feel better about yourself. Um, as you'll have seen in the first couple of photos, I'm a really, really large person. I'm significantly overweight. Um, one week ago, I was 23 stone um, and a couple of pounds. Um, and as you'll have seen in the photo also, I was wearing a t-shirt that um, I've had for around three or four years. Um, really nice t-shirt that I like wearing, but unfortunately I've become too big to actually wear it because when I actually lean back, it literally rides up and you can see my large gut, something I'm not proud of. <clears throat> so, why why am I doing this? Why, why do the vlog? Well, it's really, really simple. Um, my granddad um, was somebody who unfortunately passed away when I was a baby, so I never actually got the opportunity to meet him, and by all accounts, he was a wonderful, wonderful person. Um, and he died of a heart attack. Well, there's no secrets around people who are overweight. Um, if people are overweight, um, the statistics tell us that they are more likely to suffer from uh, suffer from health problems such as heart attack and chronic back, uh, back problems and strokes and other things like that. So I want to be that person who does something about uh, does something about my weight and health um, now, as opposed to wait till it's too late. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm a teacher, I'm assistant head teacher at a large state boarding school. Um, I'm married to my beautiful wife Lucy who is also a really busy PE teacher and a superb netball player. And we have two brilliant children, William who is five and Matilda who will be three next month. Um, and they are the absolute world to us but they certainly keep us really really busy. <coughs> uh, so. Um, perhaps what's happened over the last 10 years in my life, um, I've always been a really keen sports person, I love my sport, I've played football and cricket and basketball, um, all to really, really high levels, um, cricket's the sport that I've played to the highest level, um, I've represented Norfolk first team and Nottinghamshire second team, for those of you not cricketers that's the equivalent of Manchester United, Chelsea reserves, so I'm really, really proud of being able to say that I've played at that level, but there's no doubt about it, I'm a long, long, long way from um, that person. Um, and the reason for that is it's quite simple. I was brought up on quite large food portions when I was younger, um, but due to the amount of activity I used to do when I was younger, I would always tend to keep the weight off to a decent level. But um, over the last 10, 11 years, like natural um, life things, um, happen such as having children, such as progressing in your job, and literally the time just isn't available to be to be playing and practicing sport four or five times a week. So actually, those opportunities are really really short. And when you're stressed out at work, you literally all you want to do at times is, or you feel like you want to do for me anyway, is sit down, watch a bit of um, television, switch off, and have a beer. When actually. When I do go out and exercise and I do those sports that I really like, I really love doing them. I much, much more enjoy doing those than actually watching television. So that's something that I want to get back. That's motivation that I want to get back in my life. And hopefully that will lead to me performing even better in, in the sport cricket that I really, really love. Um, so, main questions. How am I going to do this? Well, one, one reason that, that I believe in the next four months I'm going to be successful is I'm doing this vlog. Um, I feel like I'm committed to doing these vlogs and actually um, the temptation of having unhealthy food and temptation of not doing the exercise program that I've set up, um, that won't deter me because I know that I'm committed to doing one of these vlogs per month and I want to show to you and myself that actually progress can happen. Um, how else am I going to do it? I'm going to keep it really, really simple. So I'm going to do, I've designed my own circuit, I'm a PE teacher, so I've just designed a really, really simple circuit that has six um, exercises in, which you're about to see in a moment. Um, and literally I'm going to do that two times a week. Um, and as the weeks go on, I'm going to look to progress that by either adding exercises to it, increasing time, 
um, and or developing the exercises so they're so they're a little bit um, harder at the moment. I'm only literally doing 30 seconds per exercise because literally um, I'm that unfit. So that's something that I know I can get to the end of 30 seconds an exercise, move on to the next one, um, and I'm just doing that four times through. So you'll get to have a look at that in a moment. Um, and the other area is clearly my diet. As I've said before, I've been used to and brought up on large portion sizes. Um, I'm just going to look to keep things really simple. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to do some overnight oats and have those in the morning, um, or have porridge, or, or or some eggs or something really simple like that. Something nice and quick and easy um, to do. And then literally at lunchtime. Lunch is probably my biggest issue. So I work at a huge state boarding school. So what comes with that is a huge refectory where I do lunch duties and. In that refectory there's like amazing food on offer and I'm one of those people where I'll queue up, I will um, look at all the food on offer and I'll just pile it all up on my plate and then sit down and eat it all and then feel really lethargic in the, in the afternoon when I'm teaching. So I'm going to take that temptation away, although I've still got to do lunch duties and, and monitor students and stuff in the refectory, I'm going to have a protein um, shake right at the start and then I'm just going to take a couple of pieces of fruit, sit down with staff, have a chat while I'm monitoring the students, um, so I can be social while I'm just eating, literally like peeling an orange and having that and I've already had the protein shake. In the evening I'm just going to have a normal meal, um, but just be a little bit careful about my portion sizes, so hence if we're having chicken breast for tea um, as opposed to having one and a half or two chicken breasts I'm just going to have one I'm going to have like loads of veg with it and um, obviously with a lot of meals you'll have potatoes um, you know I'll have that but I'll tend to like choose a jacket potato or or some boiled new potatoes as opposed to having um, like fried chips and um, a mashed potato with loads of butter and stuff like that I'm just going to try and choose the healthier option where possible um, so I really hope you like this vlog, um, if there's any advice, anything you want to pass on, please put comments on, um, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, um, the details will be coming up now, um, and you'll be able to also sort of track me more regularly on those things, so I am going to do a vlog only once a month, but um, I'll be constantly putting stuff up on Instagram and Twitter as I already have been. I would just finally like to draw you to this, I've been doing this for one week. Uh, my starting weight was 23 stone and 2 pounds and in one week I've got myself down to 22, st uh, 22 stone and 10 pounds so already um, I've got into the 22s from 23 so I'm really happy with that, it's going well, I'm feeling better um, so hopefully we can keep that going and when I report back um, in three weeks time I'll be able to show you um, that I've made even more progress. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Six exercises, which I'm going to do 30 seconds each on, it, um, on each exercise and then change through. Um, and we're going to do the full circuit four times through. Um, the exercises that are on there are burpees, sit-ups, press-ups, Russian twist, squat jumps and shuttle runs. Okay, so I'm going to give it a really good go, get through it and feel good at the end. Um, I've got my mobile phone here, you can download some really simple apps which um, if you just type in interval trainer onto, um, onto your Google apps or your, um, or your iPhone, you'll find um, an app that's free and that's just going to um, help me with the timing. Right, wish me luck.
Uh, right. So that's, that's one round done. I've got to do it three more times through. Just gonna have a minute breather. Then I'm gonna go again. <sighs> 